Yeah. Hello, today I welcome you to this very great community. Uh, my name is uh, Spiritual Jude, and I wish you a very good energy today. For the purpose of this very episode, we want to discuss on intentions, spiritual intentions and elements in charge of manifesting them. It's not all intentions we will discuss today, but just few of the intentions, maybe five or ten, or maybe just ten intentions I will list. And I will give you this tip about which elements you have to call forth their entities from the points so that they can be able to manifest these very intentions for you. So these are intentions and then the elements in charge of manifesting them okay like when you talk about you want to have this ambition you know development of ambition ambition for something ambition to actualize a particular work communication then anything that has to do with ambition and you want to do a right on this particular intention make sure you're calling forth an entity from the element of air okay and then this element of air comes from the east the 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 point of the rising of the sun okay is mostly ascribed with the color yellow so this rights you can do on a wednesday you can do them on a sunday okay so this is about when you want to do a right that has to do with ambition then when you want to do a right that has to do with anger like you want to do with anger or controlling anger you know like unleashing anger controlling anger and then you want to look towards the south this point coordinates the element of fire okay this point coordinates the element of fire it gives you like the mass action the martial energy so which is the mass so this kind of right you do on a sunday or on a tuesday this part of this right will give you the added energy for combat for anger aggression or to control it so when you talk about Astra travel, you know, when you want to do astral projection, you know, you want to leave this your early body into the astral plane to communicate with entities or elemental energies, then you are looking towards the west element of water. So this west can represent the water or the mirror you look towards. So that is where the energy of dreams prophecy comes from so and this type of rites you do them on a monday which is the perfect time for this type of rites on a monday so when you want to do with something that has to do with attraction increasing prosperity beauty developing and all stuff then you look towards this element of earth earth this element of earth, which you call for towards the north, which is called for towards the north, where the abundance of creation exists, where the mountains reside, so that you can increase when you it seems as if you're you're climbing this mountain, when you are harvesting from the treasures of the earth. Okay, and you know when you want to do something that has to do with banishing too. You have to still talk about the earth but i just stated about four of this element and four intentions which i will list other intentions and their elements in subsequent episodes but this will talk about ambition developing ambition for a career for a project for this then this has to do with element of air which is the east we want to talk about anger Controlling anger, unleashing anger, martial combat. You talk about the elements of fire, which is the south, which I've always, I've, I've already told you. You do this kind of right on a Tuesday, on a Sunday, 
when you talk about astral projection you want to do this astral plane projection being in a circle communicate with your entities or a fairy or an energy you want someone towards your intention then you talk about the west which you can place a bowl of water or a mirror depending on how you communicate or a plain white cloth okay then but you have to face towards the west then when you talk about attraction increasing something has to do with beauty okay you know you want attract beauty attract law attract money wealth you know like the fruit of vegetation of the earth you plant them then they grow from the earth and you harvest the fruit of your labor so this kind of works you look towards the element of earth the north so for these four intentions as you as a spiritual practitioner or trying to engage in this part you know that every work has the element in charge of manifesting them then when you come into that element then we'll talk about the entities of the element in charge of manifesting that particular type of intention in that as in that element okay which these will be coming little by little in subsequent videos like this they have more than 50 hundred intentions i will be listing them randomly at intervals so that we'll be able to know if you're a practitioner here like i said my duty on this very moment is not about to teach you how to it's not about to be doing all this practical stuff but to teach you how to incorporate all this knowledge in your work so that if you have been getting five percent results from your work based on novice or apprentice level with this added knowledge of energies elements elemental entities you can increase to 10 20 40 or 50 percent until you know